Hello, I'm Tomasz from Polygon Flow. Today I show you all the new features added to the latest version of Dash, an Unreal Engine world building tool that can drastically simplify your work in the engine and save you a lot of time. Dash 1.8.5 introduces several new features, including FAB support, a revamped AI assistant, a texture repetition breakup feature, and terrain sculpting features, to name just a few. Let's go through these updates one by one. The biggest and most useful addition in this version is the FAB support. Starting from Dash 1.8.5, when you download assets from the FAB plugin, these assets will now be added to the new FAB view in the Dash content browser. Let's open the content browser from the Dash toolbar. Clicking here, you can see the various asset libraries, including the FAB library, the legacy Quixel library, the Polyhaven library, your project assets, and the IES library. As you can see, I have already downloaded a few assets into the FAB library, but let's open it and grab some more. Let's select an asset. This new feature supports Megascans assets, as well as FBX and GLTF formats for most other free and paid assets. It immediately appears in the Dash content browser. As you can see, Dash can use the asset tags, making it much easier to search through your library. Just use a keyword. Simply drag and drop the asset into the scene. For Megascans assets, you have access to our Material Edit and Blend Material tools, just as you used to when using Megascan assets from the Bridge plugin. The models downloaded from Fab can be scattered into the scene, just like any other model. Let's download this broken concrete slab. I drag it from the content browser into the scene by holding Ctrl, then select the desired option. I choose the Physics Paint tool, and I'm creating some chaos in the scene. We can also easily create blend materials. Let's select three Quixel materials from Fab, and by holding Ctrl, drag them over the surface. Then choose the Blend Material option. To get this placement working properly, you need to download high-quality Megascan materials. This integration is still in its early stages, and will be further refined in version 1.9. In the long term, our goal is to ensure world building remains fun, fast and efficient, regardless of where your assets come from. In version 1.8, we introduced a handy AI assistant, and the feedback has been amazing. In this update, we've named it Sofon, and made it significantly more accurate. It can now suggest actions to directly call Dash tools and features, and it's much better at linking you to the correct documentation sections if you want to read more. You can even have long-form conversations, enabling workflows to be discussed over multiple black and forth messages. So let's try it out. First, ask a simple question. The assistant outlines what the workflow should look like. I can select the recommended tools directly from the AI assistant. By clicking the Actions button, I can see that it has generated buttons for every tool mentioned. Let's click on the Create Terrain option. And boom, here we have a terrain. We also have the option to check out the documentation, which the assistant has conveniently found for us. Let's upload an image and ask the assistant how it would approach this task. Here we have an image of a road. Let's try it. It suggests creating a terrain and using the road tool. Here you can also browse through the tips provided. What's more, you can even ask the AI questions about Unreal Engine. Dash has a terrain creation workflow that generates a mesh, which up until now was limited to basic noise patterns. With this update, you can now deform your terrain using as many curves as you like, with falloff and tapering features that make it simple to sculpt landscapes effortlessly. Here I have a terrain and a curve. In the terrain tool, curve properties menu, I add the curve using the plus button. I can shape it however I want and even use multiple curves on a single mesh.
we've also added experimental height map support, which we plan to expand further in version 1.9. I can select a height map in the Unreal Content Browser and then click the plus icon in the Terrain tool to sign it. You can adjust the intensity and, with just a few clicks, we've created a canyon base. We can even add a dash water plane to create a small river at the bottom of the canyon. In the new dash version, we're introducing incremental spin, the ability to orient objects toward specific values while keeping those values either ordered or randomized. For example, you could enter 0 and 90 in the property and dash will randomly assign one of those values to each scattered object. If shorting is enabled, dash will assign them in an ordered sequence. Dash now offers an extensive feature set that benefits from layering FX as much as you want. From stacking multiple proximity masks to deforming terrain with several curves, the possibilities are nearly endless. This is now achievable using data tables. The concept is simple. Click on Edit Table in the tool you're using. Hit the plus icon and adjust the properties as needed. Click plus again to create another layer and repeat as many times as you like. This is an experimental feature and is currently added to the surface scatter for density, proximity masking, landscape layering masking, noise masking, and terrain curves in the terrain tool. Proximity masking in our scatter tools is one of the most appreciated features of our ecosystem. This new feature makes it even easier to create strips of scattered objects without needing to manage multiple proximity masks or references. This feature is available in surface scatter, path scatter, decal scatter, and grid scatter. As texture repetition is something that many people struggle with, we wanted to include an easy way to fix this in Dash, and from Dash 1.8.5, it is added to our Material Edit and Blend Material tools. Simply turn on the Enable Breakup Tiling option and see the repetition disappear. If needed, you can control the breakup with a few parameters. This is the very first iteration of this feature, so bear with us if it has some bugs or limitations. So we covered the main features of version 1.8.5. We also have some smaller updates, so check out the full documentation, the link is down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you don't want to miss any updates, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Discord. Take care, bye bye.